Months before Bear County settled multiple lawsuits against indicted ex constable Michelle Michelle Barrientes Vela, she and her former captain were told to plead the fifth time and time again. The efforts to avoid self incrimination revealed in taped depositions of the former law enforcement leaders obtained by the defenders Dylan Collier in tonight's defenders report what the pair refused to answer and the impact it could have on their upcoming criminal trials. <laughs> Michelle Jeanette Barrientes Vela. Last December, during depositions taken virtually because of the COVID-19 pandemic, former Precinct 2 Constable Michelle Barrientes Vela Lies. Can you give me one example of lies? And her captain, Mark Garcia. What are the death threats that deputies at Constable Precinct 2 receive? Were peppered with questions about their treatment of these two men. Deputies Leonicio Moreno and Christopher De La Cerda, who just months earlier had given over eight hours of testimony about what it was like working for a constable who didn't want them on her staff. The conditions were really bad. While one legal expert called the deputies' depositions compelling and was not surprised the county settled out of court with them for nearly $350,000 earlier this year, the depositions of Barrientes Vela and Garcia, on the other hand, provided very few answers. Do you value your reputation for truth and honesty? Objection. Absolutely. Mr. Garcia, please assert your privilege. Both declined to address most issues. On the advice of my lawyer, I invoked my constitutional right to remain silent. While Garcia answered general questions regarding his time at Precinct 2 before invoking his Fifth Amendment right when asked about allegations tied to his criminal case, Barrientes Vela pleaded the Fifth far more often. I assert the Fifth Amendment privilege. Invoking it 105 times in 44 minutes in refusing to provide anything besides her name, educational background, and what she's up to currently. Barrientes Vela avoided questions five separate times about what happened in a Galveston hot tub. Even though the incident during a 2017 work trip in which Moreno accused the constable of putting her arms around him and trying to caress him was the basis for the very lawsuit she was being deposed on. Did it make you mad that uh uh, Leo Moreno rebuffed your sexual overtures. I'm going to assert my fifth. The Fifth Amendment is supposed to protect people from self-incrimination. Randy Burton, an attorney with nearly 40 years experience, points out that Barrientes Vela and Garcia did not have to personally pay the settlements. So he agrees with their decision to plead the fifth. This is coming out of the county coffers. Uh, and to my mind, and I think most people, the threat of going to the penitentiary for a long time, as well as paying some pretty substantial fines on the criminal side, is much greater because they're, the, they're taking away your liberty. Mark Anthony Sanchez, Garcia's civil and criminal attorney, told us in a statement his client abided by the request for deposition, even though he hadn't been named in either of the two suits the proceedings were connected to but that Sanchez stepped in once the questions veered off topic, telling us, quote, it is unfair for anyone to use a civil sex discrimination lawsuit in a civil court as a tool to force Mark Garcia to defend himself against criminal charges in a separate criminal court. And I did not allow this to stand. Barrientes Vela and Garcia face a combined nine criminal counts. Both have a tentative trial date of December 6th, although the judge in the case has previously said that the former constable will be tried first, meaning in all likelihood Garcia's trial will be pushed to 2022. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.